Hi, I'm Alan Jones, executive editor for Boating World Magazine. And I'm on Ranger's new Riata 1850 with uh, Matt Rayner. How you doing? With hey, you? Alan. Matt, you're with uh, Ranger, and again, you guys have done a great job in this Riata line with a do-everything kind of boat. And I'll tell you what, this set up great for fishing. I love this front deck here. Tell me a little bit of what, what you guys did up here. Well, our 1850, as you know, is just an extremely popular boat for us, and I think a lot of that comes from its, its characteristics of being able to do many things and do them all very well. That starts up here at the front deck. You'll see the, the standard Minn Kota trolling motor, a, a dash panel there that, that's got room for flush-mounted electronics, and probably the, uh, the key ingredient of all this stuff up front is a patented deck extension that we've got that folds out, makes for a really sturdy, solid fishing platform if you, if you need the extra space. And if you've got lots of people on board, that folds away and uh, tucks in here out of the way really nicely and in fact has room for uh, side cushions to go along with these bolsters and, and gives gives passengers yet another place to place to sit. Nice. And of course as you can see the whole deck is blanketed with with lots of rods or lots of storage, dry storage and includes a uh, forward bait well here for uh, you know live bait fishermen or, or somebody that's that's fishing for some panfish or bluegill or something there's there's a uh, additional live well here as there is in the stern. Yeah, this boat looks great for live baiters. Uh, this, I love the new console setup here. Tell me a little bit about it. Well, we have. The, the 1850's been a popular boat for a long time, but our 09 model includes uh, some improvements, and that starts probably here in the cockpit. Um, you know, our, our gauges are laid out in, in a nice fashion for the driver to be able to view very quickly. This is probably one of the nicest features is room for uh, flush-mounted electronics. You, it comes standard. The 1850 does with your choice of a Lowrance or Humminbird unit flush mounted right there at the uh, at the console it makes it really nice. I like how it doesn't sit off to the side and below like you have to do in a lot of boats like this. No, you're locked in. You're right there looking at it as you're as you're on the throttle, and it, it makes for a really good place. This boat also has a great sound system uh, with the Sony here. Yeah, the Sony unit comes standard. That's uh, it's got a CD player as, as part of it. You fold, the face folds down, and you can insert CDs. And it's also Sirius satellite radio ready. Uh, you know, should you want to subscribe, it's it's a great stereo system for a boat that again meant to do it all, and and uh, as much for family fun and skiing and tubing and, and listening to the radio as it is fishing. Well, now and staying very versatile, as we talked about, is this great center locker. There's, uh, there's lots of room for skis and wakeboards right down the center line of the, uh, of the, the locker here, as well as uh, tubes and butt holders for rods off to the side. Keeps the, keeps the rods free from any uh, you know, harm from the skis and tubes. It, it's really kind of a great compromise, do it all. Uh, so you, you, know, could actually have, you could actually have both in at the same time. Yeah, it's designed. It's designed exactly for that. Dad can have his fishing rods on one side, and and the son and daughter can have their skis right down the middle. Fantastic. Well, I'll tell you, Matt. One of the coolest things about this boat is the seating in the cockpit. Uh, something totally surprised me about this boat. Tell me a little about it. Well, you see that there's there's lots of room here in the cockpit for for four folks to sit very comfortably. And as you move your way to the back. The back deck's huge, it's flush. Should you need room for more people, you've got fold-up jump seats that uh, serve, you know, now, now there's room for, for six full-size adults to sit very comfortably. Incredible. I'll tell you, I love the uh, massive ski pylon you have back here, too. This is one of the biggest ones I've ever seen at a boat like this. Yeah, uh, Ranger ski pylons is a little bit different than the, the tripod ski pylons as some companies use. This one, very stout, like you say, slides right down in there. You access the lock through there, and that thing's in there, good to go. Fantastic. And I noticed powering our boat, we have a Evinrude E-Tech uh, 150HO. Yeah, the 150HO, especially in this shaft length, is something that's brand new for 2009. And as you'll see, the special graphics, it's not the, uh, the Evinrude Blue that you're used to seeing. This is a special unit that's celebrating their 100th anniversary this year, and uh, it's going to be available exclusively on Ranger boats. So we're really excited about that. Well, great. Thank you for showing me the boat, man. Absolutely, Alan. Thank you. Well, we just finished testing the Ranger Riata 1850 RS. It's got the Evinrude 150 HO. Now, you can bump this up to the 175, but I think this is the perfect engine for this boat. It really gets on plane quickly with almost no bow rise, about three, a little over three seconds time to plane. Zero to 30 is in six and a half seconds, and it's got a top speed of 45.2 miles an hour. 
this boat handles fantastic. It really tracks well in corners. And really, in the hard corners, you do get a little bit of ventilation, but it handles great. Now, one of the nice things about this boat is it makes no banging sounds. It's got these uh, solid uh, fiberglass um, hatches with a little foam inside, so there's no noise on this boat at all. It's a really great handling boat. For more information on this Ranger Riata 1850 RS and other great boats, go to boatingworld.com. I'm Alan Jones, and we'll see you out on the water.